good morning guys welcome to today's video it is 701 today 701 everyone's asleep but me that's me i go to bed early i'm a i'm a morning person i wake up early and it is beautiful look at that sunshine amazing i actually love where we put the garden it's just kind of centered it's no it's just kind of balanced along this wall here isn't that so cute with such a good view anyway welcome to today it is crunch time it's thursday morning and you guys know what that means two days till showtime i'm so excited i feel like it's been forever since we've shown and it has <laughs> horses are out they stay out all night now they all got new fly masks yesterday we got a a wish order in and I love their fly masks guys no not a wish we got a temu order in and everybody got new fly masks so we got lady sporting the pink stormy night sporting the black I don't know where penny is but I think I picked gray for her oh I see her butt right in there I'm always the last one to pick the colors of our fly masks every year when we get new ones um, but here's the thing Storm hates sun. I gotta be picked black for him. So Penny got gray and it might not be beautiful, but I bet you she'll be cool. My motto on this channel has always been be yourself. Just be yourself. Because when you are yourself, that's when you bring people that are like you into your life. And you guys know what happens when you're hanging around with people that don't understand you, people that are different than you, and people that sometimes that leads to a lot of heartache and a lot of problems wow guys let's get a first look at this property now look at that everything's all cut down all the weeds are cut down this area over here is soaked so i have to like bring in my heavy duty rake and our trailer and scoop all this stuff out because it's just making a big huge muddy mess but anyway that's it that's the first look at the new goat playground now that it's all cut down all the weeds the horses came in and ate most of the grass up so it's all cleaned up now good job sam this is the only messy place left but our boy goats still eat from here so i firmly believe in being yourself and i love letting people be themselves and getting to know them who they are but i think i want to change the motto of our channel good morning mia did you sleep with the pigs she loves to sleep with the pigs Good morning, big guy. Oh, shoot. I forgot to bring down more cream for him. So he gets sunburned on his back there. So I want to put cream on there every day so that the sun doesn't bother him. He also has a pool that he can swim in and cool down in. All right, let's get started. It is chore time for me. When we were younger, we used to sit on the grass Among the flowers We just let the days pass Come on. by People would tell us To get a grip of ourselves And get a job We didn't care what we were told Cause when we were younger We used to sit on the grass And go, damn, I don't wanna grow old I wish I could turn back time. And just like that, I'm done with the, with the goats this morning. I'm having problems finding some proper water buckets for the pig. But I think Sam fixed it and this little guy cannot get out now. I need something flat to the ground and wide that the pig can't tip over. It's honestly so adorable watching our little boy pig chase and play with the boy goats they headbutt him they play with him i could just stand around and watch the animals all day long and sometimes i do do that but i have lots to do today it is pre-show day i can't wait it's pre pre-show day i guess that's what it is so if you had such a good lesson yesterday i hopefully have that video up for you guys um she practiced a lot on herself but but lady seems to be picking it up a lot she was getting super fired up in the canter because there's a tractor cutting the hay all around her and so she's a little put off by that but we are so excited for show day i cannot wait it's actually cold today i'm loving it i'm loving the reprieve 
there's a barn fire down the road. So Sam and I are gonna go see if there's any animals. In case they need some place to put their animals while they figure it out. Do you guys remember when I said like, I think yesterday or the day before, that the, everything's flooding. Like everything is flooding. And I said that it's gonna start becoming a problem while one of the big cities near us is totally underwater. It's like there's flooding everywhere. Like so much flooding, isn't it insane? It's all through my social media today. It's just pure flooding everywhere. I called it, man. I called it like I said, the water, it's too much water. Thankfully, we live in the country and it's not as bad, but even in our like goat field, it's a bit awful. I always go through all of our stuff every spring and get ready for the season, but there's always like a ton of stuff locked in the to in the horse trailer. Mm, it smells so good in here. Like Ultra Shield, a bug spray, a whole bottle of bug spray. What the heck? Boot cleaner. All this stuff, this is all Gabby's stuff. And it is dusty. Our Caratex. All the good stuff, I'm telling you now, it's always in Gabby's tack trunk. Another bottle of Ultra Shield. Look, Gabby's boot bag. We got our umbrella. Anyway, I just came out here to see if there's anything that I need for the show. These are Sophie's old boots. All the crops. Wait, is that a crop? Yeah, all the crops that we keep losing. Look, there's two in here. I don't want to take them out though because I like having things like this in here just in case we need them. Whose halter is this? Gracie. Bright pink. Gracie's, we should be using it. What are you doing? Picking peas? Picking bee peas? No. Every single show, we are packing up at the last minute. And this time, I want to get it all done early. Girl, this is all last minute. This is last, no, I know. Tomorrow is last minute. One thing that you would never think of to put in your tack trunk is a garbage bag. Every single time we go to a horse show, we're with our friends, we eat a bunch of junk, and we bring a garbage bag to wash all of our half pads. I don't even, oh look, yours is all gone. Yep. We always keep a crop in here because when the girls were young and they were riding Storm and Finn, they always needed them. Well, Finn didn't need one, but Storm always needed one. And we lost so many crops because whenever any of our friends would need a crop and they'd be like in the show ring and the trainer would be like, do you have a crop? And they'd be like, oh no, I forgot. And then, so we just give them ours. Lost so many of them. So we try and keep as many as we can in the tack trunk. We always keep a sweat scraper. Uh, in there just in case we have to hose our horses down at a horse show which just happened a lot it's actually we have two of them there's a purple one there um usually like i don't know it's like when we first started showing we were like hyper crazy about packing our tack trunk and we threw everything in there now we just toss in what we need at the last second and make do with what we have so uh we talked about it with our professional team and we decided to use Gabby's saddle for the show because Lady likes it. She much. was relaxing her head so much today. Yeah, Gab Sophie rode today. Sophie rode today and Lady was so relaxed. I didn't get it on video, but she was actually relaxing. She was like stretching down through her back and putting her head down a little. Like she's learning to calm down. Sophie uses baby powder for her white spots. Hand sanitizer. We have all the hair net. This is what you call teamwork. Gabby's doing the saddle, Sophie's doing the boots, and I'm going through all of our tack stuff to see what we need. But we're always looking for scissors, and there's like 100 pairs of scissors in, the t in here. That minute that you're cleaning out the tack trunk and you find a brand new pair of gloves, show gloves that you haven't even ridden in and still have the price tags on, and you're like, yes! <laughs> gloves are always the hardest thing to find. And so, yeah, these are not thick. Ooh. That's okay. The tag off. She has Kunkel gloves. And those are her favorite, but I don't know where they are. Got, these are Gabby's gloves. Hands down. Are those the Kunkels? Yeah. Hands down, longest lasting gloves you can get. Show them. Except for I wore mine so much that the Velcro one does. How come all winter you wore like weird gloves? Oh, because they were for warm. Those are for cold. 
because I kept on forgetting mine. Oh, well, anyways, Even show them. Even these ones barely fit. Show them. Coins. So these are Kunkel, and we got them like three years ago, maybe four years ago. They haven't broken yet. And No, and they last forever, and they look nice forever. Like, they're so nice. I wore these. down the insides. All right, we are getting there. We have gloves. We have all the lotions and creams. We have treats, and I don't have a lid for it, so hopefully I can squish it in there. I have another uh, bag of gloves that I keep in here because I, in case anybody else forgets theirs, I found all of our braiding stuff. I got, I got it all together, you guys. It's only Thursday. I feel so much better that we're getting this stuff all done. Sylvie rode today for the for the last time before the show. She'll have a day off before she gets out there and she shows. We only have like one helmet that is too small for me. Yeah, Gabby has a really tiny head. This one. Yeah, that's the child toddler size. It barely fits. Like, I yeah. can still get it all. I know, through. that's insane. They're the boots. Fancy, fancy. Put them you in your boot bag. Off. She got her helmet all clean in her helmet bag. Put those in your boot bag. Yeah, that's yours. Look, you could even put your helmet in the front of that boot bag. All right, you guys, I think we are done. I just have to wash up the sat half pads. In fact, we should go and get a new half pad, one that fits better. This right here is the worst thing we ever bought. It's a cooler, and everybody had them at this one show that we went to, and Gabby really wanted one, so we went and bought it, and it's like, after... I'm sure Fiona told us to buy that. Probably. So, anyways, we bought it, and it's for, like, when it's a colder show, like in the fall, which we always go to one in October, and it's for, like, when they get really sweaty because they're riding, and then it's kind of cool out, and you put it on them, and it kind of keeps them warm the, and lets them... The rain blanket thing. And the rain blanket. We used that once, at least. The cooler? I don't think so. We did. Remember that, that show we went to? Touched my horse with it? She would murder me. We do not need those it anymore. Because we played past the whip. I'm not even sure this is ours. It's not ours. Well, we gave some this and we got some. Whip. We collected yeah, some. Yeah, we have... I, I think it is ours. No, no, no. That one is we ours for sure. We have the rubber handle, not the velvet. Like that. And we had the short ones. Yeah, and we don't have this. Oops. Well, that sucks. And ours had, had this. Probably Kate's. These are finished. This Devacu, Devacu leather bomb is actually the bomb. It is the best stuff you can ever get for saddles. All right, that's a wrap, you guys. It is a wrap. We are ready to go. We should even put that on the trailer. We're gonna use this soap. Do you guys remember what it is? It's from Virtue Soap Company. Virtue Soap Company. And it's like uh, for bugs and soap. Like it's got a natural bug repellent in it. And we're gonna use that to bath her tomorrow. And that, my friends, is a wrap. It's a show prep wrap. It's show prep day one. Tomorrow comes the whole cleaning of the horse and braiding of the horse. But you know what? Sylvie's at that age now where she just does it. She just goes up there and you have to say, hey, are you going to braid your horse? I don't have to say anything. I just go out in the barn and she's out there getting it all done. She's got it all planned out what she wants to do and how she's going to do it. But it feels good to be able to clean up the tack trunk, have us all together, everybody do some of the work so that we're not stressing out on Friday night because this is going to be an early show. Walk trot poles is always like one of the first things that happen starts at like 8 a.m. So we have to get there at like 7 a.m., 6 a.m. So it's 6.30 a.m. So day one of show prep done. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It wasn't possible to make us embarrassed. We were free.